نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونستهديه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم بلغ الرسالة وأدى الأمانة ونصح الأمة وكشف الله به الغمة وتركنا على المحجة البيضاء ليلها كنهارها لا يزيغ عنها إلا هالك اللهم أجزه خير ما جاديت نبيا عن أمتك أما بعد فإن أصدق الكلام كلام الله وخير الهدي هدي نبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة في الدين بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار My brothers, as usual, I remind, remind myself and I advise myself also remind you and advise you to remember Allah, to fear Allah wherever you are. Not only in Ramadan, but all your life, you should really be close to Allah and be pious and righteous. يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا اتَّقُوا اللَّهَ حَقَّ تُقَاتِهِ وَلَا تَمُوتُنَّ إِلَّا وَأَنْتُمْ مُسْلِمُونَ يَا أَيُّهَا النَّاسُ اتَّقُوا رَبَّكُمُ الَّذِي خَلَقَكُمْ مِنْ نَفْسٍ وَاحِدَةٍ وَخَلَقَ مِنْهَا زَوْجَهَا وَبَثَّ مِنْهُمَا رِجَالًا كَثِيرًا وَنِسَاءً وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ الَّذِي تَسَاءَلُونَ بِهِ وَالْأَرْحَامَ إِنَّ اللَّهَ كَانَ عَلَيْكُمْ رَقِيبًا يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا اتَّقُوا اللَّهَ وَقُولُوا قَوْلًا سَدِيدًا يُصْلِحْ لَكُمْ أَعْمَالَكُمْ وَيَغْفِرْ لَكُمْ ذُنُوبَكُمْ وَمَنْ يُتَعِ اللَّهُ وَرَسُولَهُ فَقَدْ فَعَذَ فَوْزًا عَظِيمًا أما بعد We praise Allah and thank Him that He extended our life to reach the last 10 days I congratulate myself and congratulate you that Allah gave you this opportunity and this chance to attend the last 10 days or the last 10 nights the best nights in the whole year Alhamdulillah there are many worship Allah obligated on us and one of the worships also at the last 10 days or the 10 nights of Ramadan is Zakatul Fitr Zakatul Fitr is obligated on each Muslim Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam made it obligation on each Muslim to pay Zakat al Fatah. Adult, children, rich, slave, free, traveling, resident, everyone has to pay Zakat al Fatah. The amount of Zakat al Fatah is Sa'a al Nabawi. Sa'a al-Nabawi, my brother, is a small part. They used to weigh the amount of food, but it's not available nowadays. But the scholar, they made it equal to 2 kilo and 200 grams of rice. But in the same time, because this food is going to be given to the needy and to the poor they raise it up, they make it 3 kilo and it's of 2 kilo and 200 gram they said no it's better to be 3 kilo to be more better than less so now for each person have to pay 3 kilo for himself if you have for instance 7 members of your family so you have to pay zakat 21 kilo. If your family is 15, and I'm sorry, 5, then you have to pay 15 kilo. If your family are 4, then you have to pay 12 kilo, and so on and so on. Of rice, of dates, of dry grain, of wheat, it's up to you. But the popular food in this country is rice. So, there are many sacks of rice available, 3 kilo, in the market. 
what time that you should pay zakat? Zakat fitr should be paid before Salat al -Rid. This is the best time, but it is permissible, it's allowed, you pay zakat one day and night before Salat. In other words, you can pay your zakat 28 of Ramadan, you can pay your zakat 29 of Ramadan, and you can pay zakat at the, before Salat al 30 of Ramadan. But I would like to remind myself and remind you, my brother, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, لَن تَنَالُوا الْبِرْ حَتَّى تُنْفِقُوا مِمَّا تُحِبُّونَ You will not be rewarded. You will not be really pious and righteous unless you pay what you like to yourself and your family. Do not just choose any cheap rice or any cheap uh, wheat or dates and just give it to the poor. No. Allah will not accept that from you. Because Allah is tayyib. Allah tayyibun la yakbaru illa tayyib. Allah is good and He will not accept anything is not good. So make sure, my brothers, that what you buy, what you purchase to give the needy, the card of Uthr, it's eatable and it's good. The one, the thing that the rice or whatever you want to pay, if you accept it to yourself and your family, this is the one you give to the poor. Because there are many people are selling it starting today in the market. Even animal will not eat it. So make sure, brother, that you pick up the thing is really eatable, is good for the poor people. A question raised up every year. Do I have to pay zakah for the non-born baby? It's up to you. If you want to, but it's not obligation. It is not obligatory to pay zakah for the baby unless the baby is born before sunset of Al-Eid. In other words, if the baby is born before Salat Al-Eid, at night before before sunrise, before sunset. If the baby is born before sunset of the, the day of Eid, you know, one day before this, and it, I'll give you a number. Let's say that the baby is born on the 29th of Ramadan before sunset. Then you have to be the cow for him. But if he was born after sunset, it's up, it's up to you if you want to pay or not. Why? Because the day ends up at sunset. So if the baby was born after sunset, the day is over. The last day of Ramadan, which is maybe 29 or 12, 30. But if you want to pay, even if he's not born, again, it is up to you. If you pay zakah after Salat al Eid, it's not going to be accepted from you as zakah. It will be sadaqah or be charity. So it make sure, my brother, that you pay zakah al fitr before Salat al Eid. One day before, two days before, it's acceptable. Not, but not after Salat al Eid. Anyone who delay zakah al fitr after Salat al Eid, it will be considered for him as a charity, not zakah. Do you can, can you delegate somebody else? Yes, you can. There are many organizations, they will accept either you give them money and they will buy food for you or you can bring the food. You can purchase and buy the food and give it to them and then you have to dictate on them, telling them don't pay it until before Salat al Eid or two days before Salat al Eid. In other words, they're not supposed to take it today. They're not supposed to pay it today, 25, 26, 27, 28 is acceptable, 29 is acceptable. So you can delegate. Also, one more question raised up every year. For you, my brothers, who is, you have family there in your country, you, our guest, 
in my country, in our country. And raise question, raised up every year. Is it permissible for me to wait the cattle filter in my country? And like you guys, brothers, think, yes, it is acceptable. The scholar, they say, see where is the need. If you think the need is in your country, go tell your family to be there. But you have to pay the money because you are the one supposed to take care of the family. If the need here, then you wait here. It's up to you. It is permissible to pay your zakat in your country. One more thing concerning zakat, which is many people, unfortunately, my brother, are not aware of it that they give money, and that's wrong. Zakat or fodder have to be given to the poor food, not money. It is not permissible to pay zakat or fodder money, currency, no. It has to be food because Rasulullah said it has to be food. And we should accept whatever Rasulullah commanded us. وَقُلُوا مَا تَسْمَعُونَ وَاسْتَغْفِرُوا اللَّهِ يَلِمْ تَسْتَغْفِرُوا إِنَّهُ وَغَفُرُ رَحِيمٌ الحمد لله الحمد الكثير طيبا مباركا كما ينبغي لوجه ربنا وعظيم سلطانه وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم أما بعد Also one of the things that we should practice and do as a worship at the end of Ramadan is Salat al-Eid So there are many sunnah of Salat al-Eid which I will cover as much as I can in this second khutbah Once they declare Salat al-Eid you hear the news that tomorrow is Salat al-Eid you have it is obligation it is a very you know obligated sunnah we make takbir Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, wa lillahi alhamd. This is every Muslim, once they declare or announce Eid tomorrow, you have to clear until you finish Salah. Once Salah is over, you don't make takbir anymore. Also from the Sunnah of Eid, that you take three pieces of dates, or five, or seven, like Rasulullah did, before you go to Salat al -Eid, to practice the difference between fasting and non-fasting. Because Salat al Yom al -Eid, the day of Eid, is not permissible to be fasting. So that's why Rasulullah took three days, or I think five or seven days, and then he went to Salat al -Eid. This is the Sunnah. Also, one of the Sunnah Salat al -Eid, that you really wear the best clothes you have. It doesn't have to be new. There is no evidence that I have to purchase a new clothes. Whatever you clothes you have clean and tidy, and then your body also, you take a wash, you take some perfume, you go Salat al -Eid. This is the Sunnah. You should wear the best clothes you have. But don't celebrate because unfortunately some people, because of Eid, they go and trim their, you know, their, their uh, beer, and then they dance, they sing. This is not celebration. The celebration is takbir, salat al eid and then if you go to a masjid, if you going to pray salat al eid in masjid, once you enter the masjid, if the khutbah, if the imam doesn't come yet, you can make two rak'ah as greeting the masjid. But if you go and pray, in open area, which is, this is the Sunnah. The Sunnah, Salat al Eid should be in open area. You don't have to make some, don't, you don't have to make Sunnah. Because Rasulullah said, إِذَا دَخَلَ أَحَدُكُمْ مَسْجِدْ فَلَا يَجْلِ سَنَّ حَتَّى يُؤَدِّي رَقْضِي He said, when you enter the masjid, but for the open area in Eid, this is not a masjid. This is Musalla, temporary, for one hour and, and finish. So no Sunnah for open area, uh, for the Eid. 
Also, one of the signals that you take one way going to Musal al Eid and coming another way. This is what Rasulullah said. The reason? Because maybe in the way you're going, you can congratulate your brother in the way. And then coming back, also you see another brother and you congratulate him for it. This is the reason of the Sunnah. It is also the Sunnah that after Salat al Eid is over, you should stay, you should sit and stay, listen to the khutbah. Because many people after the khutbah they go immediately. It is permissible. It is not, you are not violating the Sunnah or violating the religion if you leave after Salah. But it is very, you know, uh, obligatory Sunnah. It is Sunnah, not obligatory, but it is Sunnah up to you to sit and listen to the khutbah. Because usually khutbah, the ceremony of the Eid has many benefits. Most of the Imam who give khutbah, they make sure that they give a very valuable khutbah for both, for men and women. So it is also sunnah that you take your children, take your wife, take your daughters, you take your to the Muslim Eid. If they have a space, if they prepare a place for women, it is sunnah to take them. Even the, even the women have ministration. Even the women who have period, you can take them, but if inside the masjid, they should not enter the masjid. They should wait outside. But usually in the open area, where they perform Salat al Eid, usually they prepare special place for women. You, you can, it is sunnah to take a woman and children for Salat al Eid. Allahumma ya Rabbil Alameen, ya Arham al Rahmin. Allahumma barikna fi ma tabaqqa min Ramadan. Allahumma barikna fi ma tabaqqa min Ramadan. اللهم باركنا فيما تبقى من رمضان اللهم اجعلنا ممن صام رمضان ايمانا واحتسابا اللهم اجعلنا ممن صام رمضان ايمانا واحتسابا اللهم اجعلنا مما قام ليلة القدر اللهم اجعلنا مما قام ليلة القدر اللهم اعد علينا رمضان اعواما عديدة وازمنا عديدة يا رب العالمين اللهم اجبر كسرنا في فراق رمضان اللهم اجبر كسرنا في فراق رمضان يا رب العالمين اللهم عند الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم عند الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم عند الإسلام والمسلمين واحمي حوزة الدين اللهم انصر جنودنا البواسل في على حدودنا يا رب العالمين اللهم تبتت أقلامهم وسدد رميهم واحفظهم من عيمان وشمائلهم ومن فوقهم من تحت وأن لا يختاروا من تحتهم يا رب العالمين اللهم وفق إمامنا بتوفيق اللهم دلوا عن البر والتقوى وخذ نظرتي إلى التقوى يا رب العالمين اللهم يا رب حيد والبطان الصالح التي تعين على الخير وتمنعه من الشر يا رب العالمين اللهم عنا على شكرك وذكرك وحسن الباب اللهم اهدي أبنائنا وبناتنا ونسائنا أرموا الحق حقا ومزقوا متباعا وأرموا الباطل باطل ومزقوا مجتنابا يا رب العالمين اللهم تقبل منا اللهم تقبل منا اللهم تقبل منا يا رب العالمين اللهم آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار صلى الله على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وآخر دعوانا الحمد لله رب العالمين وأقيم الصلاة